for this assignment, the equipment that we need will be this USB to serial port, followed by LPC 2103 adapter, and also a laptop. To start the programming, we need a compiler. There's a lot of compiler available online. Here is one of the links that provide all the tool change available. For this project, we choose WinArm as our compiler and it is also available in this website. The second software is the LPC2100 Flash Utilities. It is used to download the program into the Flash of the LPC microcontroller. This tool is also available online and here is the link to get the Flash Utilities for free. And in this project, we use serial port to download the program into the LPC2103 microcontroller. Since the serial port are not available on this laptop, we need to have to set up the driver. To get the driver, here's a link to download the driver. For those who have the serial port ready, you may proceed to start the programming now. We are done with the software installation, now we are ready to create our own project. Before we create our C program code, we need to make sure all the startup code and input script is ready. We can go to the WinGAM and in the example folder and just pick one of them. By the same time, we also create a new empty folder LBC2103 underscore assignment to copy over the file that we need. The first file that we need is a make file. Is a text file referenced by make command in WinArm that consists of source level dependencies and description to compile or link all the files together. The second file that we need is a header file where all the register in ARM processor is declared. We also copy over the build folder that consists of the CRT0.s, a code written in the assembly language to make up the remainder of bootloader functionality before main entry point in C code. We also have both RAM and ROM file as a memory map for ARM processor. Besides, we are also doing some naming change to align with our project. As you can see from the left hand side, we change all the header file to the 2103 and standardize to all the files as well. Now I'm going to show you how to create a C source file and also the flash project file. Again we go back to the WinArm and this time we go to the programmer notepad directory and we open up the programmer notepad and this is the interface that you go to see. We create a new project given the name flash and place it in the folder that we just created. Now we create a new C language template and we are ready to code our program. To save the time, we just show you the outcome of our project. And again, we open up our project and open up all the files necessary. In the header file, we also change the naming to the LPC2103 to standardize across all the projects. And in the makeup file, we need to make sure our target is set to the whatever name that we put for our C code file. And this is our C language file. As you can see from the screen, we need to include the header file and then we define the LED in pin 26 based on the schematic that we have. And in this subroutine, we are going to set the LED pin as the output pin and it's the active load pin. And this subroutine is a delay subroutine. Well, this part of the code is our main code where the LED will be turned on and off with a delay insert in between. When we are done with all of this, we go to tools and we go into compile it using the make all command. As you can see in the output window, 
it will report out all the status at the report. Once there is no error detected, you can see in your folder, there will be a hex file created. And this hex file will be used to program to the ARM processor using the LPC 2000 flash utility. But how about if there is an error detected? There is an error detected here. Then we need to make a command using a make clean. And then we are doing some edit, whatever that we, modification that we need to make sure it's correct. And we make all again. So basically, this is a comparison stage before we proceed to the hardware setup. For hardware portion, we just need to plug in the power supply and follow by the connection between our port with serial port and come to laptop with USB port. Now we have to turn on the power and now we will start to download the hex file to our board. After set up the hardware and successfully compile the source code, we need LPC 2000 flash utility as an in-system programming interface to program ARM microcontroller using serial connection. First of all, we need to make sure the serial port configuration is correct according to the respective computer. For our case, COM2 port of the serial port is selected. Then we proceed to detect the device. If this message is prompted, we need to reset the board and then proceed to detect it. Once it is successful, we can select the hex file to be uploaded to ARM microcontroller. Then we click the upload button, wait until it is successfully completed. Now our program is ready to be tested out using hardware. After the hex file has been downloaded, what we need to do is just to plug out the BSL jumper and press the reset button. <laughs> 